On Ilum, one can find a type of crystal attuned to the mystic energy field that binds the universe together. Capable of manifesting energy as a plasmatic light of beauty, power, and force. They are the Kyber crystals, the heart of the lightsaber. <laughs>
Also, the common definition of magic is the supernatural interaction of immaterial energies produced by the natural processes of order, chaos, life, death, and rebirth as they attempt to reconcile with one another and the cosmos. Now, the Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. And don't give me that metachlorian BS. For all we know, they could all be tiny wizards. Plus, in the last few episodes, they've avoided calling their gem abilities magic, and the new homeworld gems seem far more tech-based than the crystal gems. The gem's advanced technology also appears to use the same energy that powers them, which they seem to be able to link with intuitively, or by forgotten memories of doing it long ago. Gems have an obvious domination of the universe Steven and his friends live in, and it's odd to think that the secret of the lightsaber now controls the fate of the universe. Humans have clearly forgotten about their more advanced ancestors and the Jedi. Perhaps Rose Quartz sensed that and chose to bring humanity back to the Force by fusing with a human and creating Steven, thus reconnecting the human race and introducing the power of Jim Force into our world. So, in a way, Steven is a human lightsaber in shield form. Have you seen my pants? Either way, it's just a crazy theory. That was very poorly edited.